Alright everyone, my name is Solomon, better known as PCG here on YouTube, and welcome to day 8 of our daily Minecraft survival let's play. Uh, so, I've got a few things planned for today. Probably the biggest thing is I'm going to finally actually build the nether portal that I've been talking about for probably like 5 days. Also, these are growing, clearly. Uh, they're, they're growing exceptionally well. Got some pretty, pretty tall trees going on here. It looks like... I don't know if this is, I know that a couple saplings have grown here because I think I put like five down and I only see one down here. So these are growing together, but this one is exceptionally tall. This is huge. And what's going to really suck, this is kind of what I was talking about. I think, I think I mentioned this yesterday, chopping these down, like I'll just chop one down for you real fast, just in case you're not privy to the annoyance of these trees. Uh, you've got to go up in the center of them like this and I think, so the leaves will decay, but these roots, as far as I know, the roots will not decay. So I think you have to actually chop all the roots down. And see, you get random pieces of wood just up inside the leaves like that. And so it's going to be super, super annoying to, to farm this wood. But I really, really feel like, um, I always forget what it's called, mangrove. I really, really feel like mangrove is going to look really good with with this initial spawn build that i'm doing so i feel like i feel like all of the the time and energy that's going to go into collecting all of the wood i think is going to be worth it and uh it seems like there might not be any more up in this one you see i i know that in previous worlds over the past couple of years i've grown trees like this tried to farm them and i would go through chop a tree down and i would be like oh yeah it's good and then i'd walk away and like 25 minutes later come back and there's still leaves hanging in the air and it's because there was one singular log still sitting somewhere up in the tree so i think that this wood looks so cool i love the the sort of like blood red color but it really just, they could have come up with a better way to have these trees grow. So it wasn't so friggin' annoying chopping them down. Uh, I also, I'm going to try to get inside this one real fast and get some of this. So, the, and see, that's only like eight pieces of wood. Eight, eight uh, logs so far. And that's, I guess, technically two trees that I've chopped down. Again, who knows, there might be some still hanging out in, in some of those leaves this one definitely seems to have a few more though unless this is two trees combined into one which it it very well could be and you know something that i could do too maybe maybe a good thing to do with these would be to just cr craft flint and steel and maybe i should just burn these trees down actually that's that's not a bad idea that might actually be the way that that God intended it. Maybe that's how you're supposed. Maybe that's how you're supposed to farm these trees. You literally just burn them down, and then, oh wait, no, duh, because the wood's gonna burn too. That was dumb. You know what? It's whatever. It just it brainstorm here. So I got 24. I'm gonna have to chop the rest of those later because that's it's just it's slow and obnoxious. Uh, so one thing that I did, or a couple of quick things that I did in between episodes, is I started clearing out more of this. And the reason I did that is because this mountain's gotta or this hill's gotta go anyway. But part of the reason I started over here is because I've been trying to figure out where I want to put my enchantment table and my nether portal. And so I was thinking possibly doing offshoots of the building, maybe maybe little rooms as offshoots. Uh, I was considering doing one on this side for the nether portal and one on this side for the enchantment table. And then I considered maybe doing like one room here and then one room right next to it for like nether portal and then in enchantment table so i don't know exactly what i'm going to do in the long run but what i'm what i am going to do right now is i'm going to just literally build this nether portal right in the center of this this uh spawn house and uh i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make the the actual space the purple part three wide that way it can line up with this big grand entrance that's going to be here. So this may move, uh, but for the time being, I would like it to to be right here. Just because then it's it's easy access and everything. And with some of the ideas that I have in terms of how I'd like to design this place, I don't think it's going to look weird having it right here in the center. Uh, so let me see here. So that's going to need to go like that. And with how many pieces of obsidian I have... Uh, I'm trying to decide how big I want to make this. So that's one, two, three, four. 
Also, by the way, you've probably noticed my health. My health is real low. Because I did briefly in between episodes, another thing I did was I, I went and did a little bit more caving. Mostly because I needed coal, because I'm out of coal right now. But, get this, as I was caving, I ended up using all of my coal on torches. But, I did manage to get another 40 iron while I was down there, a little bit more lapis. Uh, and I think that was that was pretty much it. But, it really sucked, because I was like, holy crap, I'm using all of my torches in the process of of just doing this cave. Ooh, okay, I'm at, I'm at half a heart now. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go out and get coal soon, because partially, I can't even cook stuff right now, because I don't want to use a whole bunch of wood for it. So I'm trying to decide how tall I want this. I'm thinking, is this, I just need to double check. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then let me just make sure it's the same over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So it just, it, it was kind of looking weird, almost like it wasn't in the center. So that's why I'm doing it three wide like that instead of just the typical old school uh, two wide is because, ooh, you know what? <sighs> There's part of me though that's almost wondering if I should do even more of an, an odd shape. Because I think that what could be cool is so if i go let me let me go up here real fast um because again this this may very well may move but as i've been saying even with stuff that i might end up moving eventually i feel like i want to try to make it as close to what it's going to be in the long run as possible so i guess if i do that and then maybe maybe this and then this because I like that I, I've never really built a portal in the past few years since you could just make them whatever shape and size I am at least I'm pretty sure I haven't really made portals during all of or since those types of changes so that really shows how little I've played over the past few years but I think that having sort of like an interesting shape like this more of an obtuse shape if you will uh, I think that this could look kind of cool uh and so I'm thinking I'll do another like little nub on the on this side and on the other side. But oh wait, that's not going to be How do I want this? It's probably going to have to be this one, right? If I want it to be centered, I think I didn't count how many blocks tall this is. 1 2 3 4 5. Yeah, so I think that I would need this one to be the nub then. Uh, so that would be identical on this side. The problem is with with obsidian, it's so hard to tell which block you're breaking. So, I'm not even sure if I'm breaking the right block right now. But I guess we'll see shortly. Oh, I was breaking the right block. Perfect. Alright, so let's do this. I'm going to put uh, this here. Just so that I can actually get this block on the outside. And then another one here. And then I'm going to step back and take a look at it. And see if it actually looks the way I'm sort of envisioning in my head. It might end up looking just really stupid. Um, it kind of looks really stupid. <laughs> what if I... Ooh, you know what I could do though? is if I did something like, maybe if I break this, I didn't, I didn't test this, I didn't really think about this before the episode, I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna build a portal, and didn't think about the fact that I could maybe make something kind of cool out of it, uh, oh, yeah, so maybe, what if I did this, and then, oh, actually, or what if I did it like that, I don't know. That kind of looks massive to me, considering the size of the room. What What if I did? I know I'm basically wasting obsidian by putting stuff on the corners here, but it's just kind of making me go, why not give it a shot and see what it looks like? It's basically like a little Christmas tree, so I don't know about that. Uh, it looks kind of weird, but let's go ahead and light it. I can always, like I said, I can always change it later. And looking at it, I probably will change it later. It feels really, really large. And it also, I don't like that it kind of looks like a Christmas tree. I don't know. That just doesn't fit the vibe in my head, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to put this here. Um, just stack that real fast. And then all this mangrove that I've got now. Oh, I had one piece still sitting in there. I didn't realize that. And see, the mangrove roots, I don't think those have any use. As far as I know, there's no use. So you end up just with a ton of it. So I'm just going to toss that out. I don't need to andesite either. Uh, I've got all these sticks because I still need to go find coal, like I said. 
Uh, moss carpet, I'm going to keep that just, just for the purpose of something one day maybe being useful for it. Uh, that makes sense. Oh, also, so this was another thing. I moved this chest over here because here's what I was thinking. This is kind of like all block type of stuff, even though that's wool. It's still in block form. Uh, and then over here, this is more like tools and I mean, it's kind of building supplies and then and then ores. So you'd use the ores to make the tools and, and the, the armor and stuff. Uh, and then over here is kind of more like this is like a mob drop thing. I'm going to make this a miscellaneous chest. And then this is, this stuff kind of goes together because it's food and then stuff that grows in the environment. So then I moved this chest over here just because it seemed kind of out of place on the other side. Uh, but anyway, I have one piece of flint. And before I actually venture into the nether, there's, there's really a couple of things that I feel like I need to do before venturing in there. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to cut in a second here so that I can... I just feel like there's a couple of things that I should probably just fly through off camera. But one of the things is... I feel like I need more arrows if I'm going to go in there and actually feel good about myself and not feel like I'm just going to get absolutely squished by a ghast. Uh, and then once I get near the blazes, the problem is like I really, I really can't afford to get hit by fire because since natural regeneration is off, I'm just going it, to, it's just going to tick my health all the way down to nothing and then I'm going to be screwed. So, because of that, I feel like having arrows will sort of combat that so I can fight blazes and ghasts from a distance. And, uh, oh, I didn't... Oh, you know what? This, if I had coal, I would go down in there, but I don't. That must be where I keep hearing growling. There must be a little cave right underneath there. Because I've been hearing that for the past, like, five days, and it's been driving me nuts. Zombies growling every now and then, and then it sounds like skelly blobs walking around. You hear their bones jangling. So, I'm just going to get, I don't need a ton of flint, I guess. Uh, how many feathers do I actually even have? Because it, it might be useless to get too much flint. Because I might end up realizing that I don't really have enough feathers to go with the flint. Uh, oh, I have 13. Alright, so I'm just going to stick with 7 flint for now. Uh, and actually, I'm going to keep one out so I can make flint and steel. And then, let me make these arrows real quick. So that's 34. I think that should be enough for this this journey, I would say. And let me make flint and steel real fast. See if this will... It, th I'm pretty sure you can make the portal literally whatever shape you want, but because of how oddly shaped this is, there's part of me that's going, maybe this won't light. So let's see. Okay, so maybe... Oh, so can you not have it? oddly shaped like this okay there we go so i have discovered that you can't literally build whatever shape you want apparently uh it's still got to be like i guess the shape of what a portal is it's just you can make it as large as you want i don't know why i didn't realize that i guess i don't know maybe all the portals that i have seen built are always the shape of a regular nether portal and they don't have like weird nubs and stuff. I don't, I don't know. For some reason, I thought that you could make weird shapes, but clearly that's not the case. Uh, but now the portal is lit, and I think this is a good size. So I wasted a lot of time in this episode. I feel like just messing with the portal. But you know, trial and error, it happens. And we learned a lesson together, and uh, now I'll never make that mistake again. Uh, and I do, yeah, I should probably take that off. Even though it kind of looks, you know, it kind of gives it a little bit of a fancy feel. It, it just feels like that's kind of silly. And look at how much of my durability I've already used on this diamond pick. I, I kind of hate that I've used that much without even having an enchantment on it yet. But I haven't really had all that much of a choice. Uh, okay, so like I said, I still don't want to go into the nether quite yet. Because I feel like there's a couple things I want to do. But let me see this from sort of a distance here. So, eventually we'll have, like, the grand entrance, and again, this might end up needing to move, but in some ways, I feel like this isn't a bad spot for it, having it right in the center like this, of the area, because eventually there's going to be villagers and stuff available for trading, and then all of my items are in the corner, so I, I think this might, it might be here to stay, it might, might work well like that. Uh, so let me prep my inventory a little bit, I also need to go out and find coal, and uh, then we will hop inside. I'm out here looking for coal, and I am in dire straits again because I wasn't paying attention and I didn't bring a bed. And obviously, I started thinking, 
uh, I, I obviously, I don't need coal for the nether, uh, but the reason that I want to get it now before I go in is because I feel like I can't even really, so there's coal here, but I really need another sheep. I feel like I can't really even cook food or any of my, any of my, uh, like iron and stuff right now because of the fact they don't have coal I, and I really don't want to just burn a whole bunch of wood I guess I could burn wood for charcoal though but I'm kind of trying to avoid that and I'm right near my base so maybe I need to just go back and get a bed but I was really hoping to not walk back I just keep forgetting that I need to be carrying a bed because I think I'm used to the fact that usually it's not that big of a deal if I'm running around in the nighttime but since I have no natural regen, it's making that tricky. So, I guess I'm going to go back and grab a bed. I mean, it's literally right over there. So, it's not that big of a deal. But this half a heart is uh, not not serving me super well. I'm just going to sprint in between all these mobs. I mean, what can I say? Cool guys don't look at mobs like zombies and spiders trying to chase you. Oh, that was weird. That the tree just spawned in in front of the portal like that you couldn't even see it. it i wonder why trees don't render the same way that a portal would that's kind of interesting well anyway regardless i guess i'm going back and then i'll go back out and find coal in the morning it's so weird to me that coal sort of feels difficult to find at times now i mean for the most part it seems to largely spawn pretty much at the surface i mean it's not really spawning super super deep in caves a lot of times uh but i don't know it just feels like it feels like it's not as as abundant as it was back in the old days i mean i know i've used quite a bit of coal because of the fact that i have a ton of torches up around my base and i've i've cooked a whole bunch of stuff and, and all that so maybe i'm just not realizing how much coal i've already used but it just feels less abundant but i guess these pockets are kind of big i mean these are bigger pockets than i feel like maybe i remember from the past but i feel like in some ways coal could always spawn in massive massive pockets so i don't know but i you know in as i'm talking about this i feel like i should mention for those of you that maybe haven't watched the other episodes there's so much i haven't played minecraft consistently in many years so there's random little things that just as we're playing i'm going oh that's different that's different and like i didn't know this and that because i'm i'm there's still there's still just ingrained mechanics in my brain from old school minecraft uh and, and just things that have changed that i don't even realize have changed or that i know have changed but i just haven't experienced them myself yet so that's kind of what's going on when it comes to to things in this game that don't totally make sense to me now uh because of the old school i miss the old minecraft uh okay so oh wow all of this okay so maybe i take back my previous statements uh i would like to rescind is that the word rescind revoke remove my statements from before uh 60 coal from just a couple of pockets is quite a lot of coal so it's pretty abundant uh Whoa, that looks... I've... Wait. I've come over this way, haven't I? I feel like I have, but why did why did I not notice that? That overhang looks really cool for some reason. That looks really neat. Uh, but, okay, so 60 coal, that's pretty good. I guess I'm going to collect a bit more just while I'm out here and it's daytime. Because uh, then I don't have to worry about coming back out here again for a little while, I guess. The, the, more, the more coal, the better, as they say. I'm pretty sure that's a saying. Oh, 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 okay, well, uh, what were my, I think I know where I was, that really sucked, I was sitting there on half a heart, and I was getting a little bit more coal, and I guess it was just dark enough in that area, and I don't have a bed again, I guess it was just dark enough in that area for a creeper to spawn, and he came down to say hello, and I just heard, and that was it, that was it. All right, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I just come off of this mountain and I walk down into just like this little tiny hole in the ground and he exploded right on top of me. So let me see if I can get this stuff back real fast. So I do though, I, I definitely, wait, 
yeah, I swear, I swear that it was right over here. I sure hope it was, because I don't want to lose all that stuff. But I, I definitely do uh, rescind my statements about coal from earlier, because coal is actually, it seems like very easy to come by if you just use your feet and go look for it. So it's not as big of a concern as I was thinking it was, which is, uh, which is a good thing. So yeah, right here. Okay. This was, this was my death hole. My goodness. Okay. Well, do I, okay. I don't think there's anything else spawned down here. Yeah, but see, look, there's a ton of coal just, just right here. So I think that my problem and my reason for thinking that coal was hard to come by was just that I hadn't really gone out and looked for it. And I'm I'm still operating, I guess my like I was saying earlier, my brain is operating on the assumption of of mechanics working the way that they used to. So since I was down in the huge cave and didn't really find any coal, my brain automatically went, oh, that must mean that coal is much more rare, but it's just, you just find it in a different spot. So that's my, uh, that's my own ignorance talking there. Ignorance of coal. Uh, so I think I'm going to stop here with, with coal now, once I get the rest of this pocket, cause that's, yeah, I've almost got two stacks of coal. So I'm in pretty good shape. So probably what I'll do is I'll go back, cook up some food, uh, because I'm, I'm running low on, on, uh, cooked things to put in my mouth right now. And then I will also probably throw some of my ores into, into the blast furnace as well. Cause I haven't really been smelting extra ores that I've gotten because again, I didn't have coal and I didn't want to use a whole bunch of wood. So I'm going to go get that settled and then we're probably going to finally pop into the nether. By the way, the cow farm is coming along pretty nicely. There's been lots of cows mating over here, and uh, look at this. Decent amount of cows. I'm, I'm thinking, though, that probably what I'll do is with, like, the cow pen, and once I have a sheep pen and things like that, uh, and just any of the animal pens, really, what I'll probably do is essentially just keep on breeding them until it gets to that, that spot where... You know how you can just, you can hear all their feet moving around at like a rapid pace because they're trying to move around, but they're all just so confined in an area. So I'm thinking I'll just keep breeding like that unless like I hit a point where I'm like, all right, I really just need food. So I've got to kill a few of them or I need leather. Um, but I'm thinking that I'll just continue to breed them up to that point and just let, let the good times flow. Uh, and did I, have I gotten everybody? I think, I think I've gotten everybody at this point i don't like that they continue to follow you with it after you have after you've bred them because i feel like if they didn't follow you then it'd be easier to to differentiate between which ones are still breedable and which ones aren't because it'd just be like oh yeah the ones that are still following you they haven't they haven't been able to breed yet i don't know what happened to those arrows that were just did i pick them up or did they despawn i'm not sure but yeah, so cow farm, cow farm's going good. I still got to get all the other animals in their pens though, uh, soon, like, like chickens and, and, and pigs and stuff like that. And I, I keep changing my mind about which one I want to do next. And I just haven't, ow, had time to actually sit down and add in another pen for more animals. So, all right. So I think let's do this. Uh, I got all the extra iron smelted that I had, so pretty decent amount of iron going on right now and look at all this coal someone said the other day that it's super rare but i don't he's an idiot i don't know what he's talking about and then uh also i cooked all this food up i mean not all of it there's there's still a bunch of raw stuff in here but the main thing that i want right now is the beef that's all i really care about uh i guess i'm gonna take let's take 12 leave the rest of this behind uh wait a second pull pull these last few pieces out all right, so I guess I guess we're going to go into the nether, and I'm hoping that this goes well. So I've got my armor, I've got another shield just in case, because this one's almost broken, another pick, because this one's almost broken, an extra axe, because this, this one's almost broken, uh, and I've got my bow. So I guess, oh, you know what? That's, that's the other thing. I should bring blocks, because uh, I have plenty of cobble, so there's no reason not to bring cobble, I feel like. So I was looking up what the easiest way now to find a fortress is uh, within the nether. 
And the main thing that I was seeing is that fortresses are most... Ooh, I'm gonna crouch here. Are most likely to spawn... By the way, we've gotten two achievements uh, today. One for the portal and one for adventuring. Uh, fortresses most frequently spawn in the positive direction. So I think specifically along the positive x-axis. Something that, that I was seeing, though, is you could potentially walk either north or east because north would be positive for your x and then east would be positive for your your z or your y i don't know whatever Re regardless you know what i'm saying so i guess i'm just gonna go north like this and increase my my x as much as i can and hope that i find a fortress because uh, the last couple of times that i've been in Oh, you know what I should have done? Crap. I didn't bring anything gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to at least chop down some of this wood. Because maybe if I find some gold just as I go, as I walk around, then I can uh, then I can craft something gold. Even if it's just boots. But yeah, the last couple of times that I've been within the nether, I have had a very, very hard time finding any sort of any sort of uh fortress so that's why i looked up the easiest way to find it and i'm i'm concerned that i'm gonna have trouble again this time so we'll see i also don't want to burn oh you know another thing is it probably would have been smart for me to at least bring a golden apple just you know just to have it just to have one handy but i also did not do that so did i just hit him He jumped right in front of my face. He hit the lava, though, so I'm hoping that he forgot about me. That would be such BS if he came along and killed me because I accidentally booped him when he literally jumped in front of me. Like, that's not my fault. That is the textbook definition of wrong place, wrong time. Uh, I guess maybe while I'm in here, as I pass by some of this coal or some of this... Uh, uh, some of this quartz it wouldn't be a bad idea to grab some of it maybe because i'd like to use it eventually but you know i probably just shouldn't get distracted i should probably focus on the task at hand while i'm walking around and be very 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 cautious uh and so it's what nine i think it's nine nuggets to make a bar and i'm gonna need four bars in order to be able to make just some some boots so i don't get attacked for my lack of of gold they're very serious about their religion in here, the religion of gold. So if you're not wearing that gold, you are going to be probably hanged. Uh, okay, so that's three. Oh, I need one more to be able to make. Uh, where is where is more? There's some over here. All right, let me go grab this, and then I can at least get I can at least get some some gold boots on, so I don't have to worry too much. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You've got to be kidding me! Dang it! That's really annoying that I basically, like, have everything I need. Okay, while he's doing his thing over there, let me grab last little bit here. I totally, totally, totally should have brought a golden apple. And it kind of crossed my mind, but again, I just haven't been wanting to waste my gold, but I know that's the whole point. You collect the resources in order to use the resources. Frick, dang it, man. You've got to be kidding me. All right, I'm going to dig in while I get some some gold boots on. Uh, I am I am a bit on edge right now. All right, let me pull out. Let me pull this out. And boom. All right, sweet. All right, so I'm just going to put a torch down real fast just cuz it it makes me it makes my heart feel a little bit better even though torches don't really do anything in here. Make a new crafting bench because of the fact that I had to abandon my old one out there because of those because of those gentlemen uh, that were hanging around. Okay, so now boots, boom, and I literally had gold stuff at home, just forgot to bring it. Oh, that's cool that it automatically swaps the boots you were wearing right into your hand. It's kind of nice, kind of convenient. And this uh, this pick is almost dead, so I'm gl I'm very very glad that I brought another one. Okay, so. Let's uh let's continue on here. And I was gonna say it's not a bad idea. Okay, he's not gonna be mad at me now, right? You see my gold? You see my gold boots? Okay, we're good. 
I was going to say that it wouldn't be a bad idea to continue to collect gold as I go through here, but I don't have apples, so it's not even really going to matter since I didn't bring any form of, of apples in order to make said golden apples. And uh, so I think... I don't know exactly how it works, but I think your portal spawns at 0-0, zero, zero, right? I, I think that it does. So I think that as long as I just keep running this way... Ooh, and I should probably, I should probably deal with this guy real fast. Um, ooh, and I wonder if he dropped a tear. He did. He sure did. Uh, yeah. So I think if I just keep sort of running this way, I can just literally turn around later, and I'll I'll find my portal. Ooh, this is not a good spot though. This is not a friendly place. Uh, yeah, so if I head back to zero, 0 I should be able to find it. But the nice thing is, I'm obviously recording, so I can always look back at my cords, at the at the coordinates of the portal uh, on the recording if I absolutely have to, if absolutely necessary. This is this sucks. This sucks so so much. Uh, I have such a hard time. I feel like I feel like I have such a hard time with the Nether, and this is only heightening the issue, the lack of natural regen. Uh, and, uh, all these skeletons around here, this is also heightening the level of difficulty. And I, this, this, like, music, or whatever, ooh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, I just need to get out of this soul sand valley, and I have abandoned my initial plan of trying to stay on positive X, clearly, because I started encountering too many issues, uh, but... I don't, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was saying. But that, that Soul Sand Valley is bad news. And I think maybe what I was saying is I just feel like I have such a hard time in the nether. I feel like I have a really hard time finding the portal. And it's just everything, or finding the, the stronghold. And everything just feels so dangerous. Uh, I have no idea. Alright, I guess, I guess what I should do is what's going to put me towards... Okay, so if I go this way, it's going to put me more towards the positive Z. So I guess I'm going to run this way. And then maybe... I, one thing that I've been thinking maybe I should try is going positive with both my X and Z. So maybe if I, if I go sort of like northeast... You've got to be kidding me. How in the world did that even hit me? Oh my gosh, what... There's no way that those are hitting me. Holy crap, that... Okay, this lion game... This game's lying to you and to me because there's no way that those hit me. I felt like I was so... I was sprinting. That is some BS right there. All right, hang on. Let me... Uh, I'm flustered. Let me let me do something. Uh, if I get... I need to grab food again. And I'm going to run back in there and grab that stuff. And probably while I'm out here, let me make like three golden apples just so I have the option. Uh, let me grab just a few of those so that I can sprint in case my food goes low. And gold, gold, gold. I don't know why I'm really rushing. I know that that I'm not in there so that that stuff isn't loaded. So it shouldn't, you know, I'm only going to do two actually. So it, it shouldn't despawn. Uh, so I guess, you know, okay, I can just kind of relax. It'll be fine. But once I get in there, I definitely want to make sure that I find that quickly because... Ooh, and you know what? I'm going to grab one of these pieces of gold armor. Oh, I only have one, actually, so I guess I'm grabbing that one. Yeah, once I get in here, i got to be relatively quick and try to find that spot because I definitely don't want it to despawn. But then also, I need to be careful when I get there because if there's that many ghasts still around, I really don't want them just flinging fireballs at me and blowing up all my stuff. Uh, so which, it would have been this direction that I went, because I was going in the positive X direction, and I was a little bit in the negative Z, so I think that, I think that if I go through here, I should be able to pretty much get back to where I was. Oh, you know what I probably should have done, though, is I should have brought more blocks, uh... I think I can break these with my fist, right? And at least use these for blocks. I sure can. I sure can. What are these actually? 
those are oh is that just another warp block oh no that's a shroom light okay i don't want to get just i'm getting i'm already getting distracted though i can't get distracted because i need to get over to my stuff here an enderman flying around me and he's got to he's got to chill out because i don't have the patience or the time right now for that and i'm really really hoping that i don't lose this stuff and i was really hoping too like i really really would like oh my goodness there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of these guys oh wait no i'm that's right i'm wearing gold i'm i'm good don't worry about it never mind false alarm i was really really hoping that i'd be able to find a portal or a fortress today in this episode. Like, I would like to not end the episode until I at least find it. Even if I don't get out with everything that I need. If I could at least find it, then I'd feel like progress has been made. But, who knows? That might not end up being the case. Progress may just not be made. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, let me put my boots back on. I'm going to take those off. I'm going to put this on, and then I'm going to actually do gold boots. Put that on. Uh, in the, what, what is, what the, why are they mad at me? I'm wearing gold. Oh my gosh, this game, this game, man. Oh, and I do have actual blocks now, so that's good. Yeah, what's with, what's with them getting all mad at me? I'm literally wearing gold. Did I hit one of them or something? That that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. All right, I'm going to I'm going to cut for a second here and I'm just I guess going to look around and and see what I can find. And actually, now that I think about it though, did I pick up everything? Was that everything I had on me? I feel like it must have been, right? I think that was everything. So I'm just going to say it was. All right, so I'll I'll be back. Oh, hot tourist destination. I guess I've gone. I think that's for going to a bunch of different biomes, right? Or visiting every biome in the nether or something like that. I feel like... I feel like I haven't visited every biome, though. But I don't know. So, I'm running through here right now. And the reason... Oh, actually, I hear... I hear magma... Magma cubes. Uh, crap, crap, crap. This is so bad. Uh, and there... One of them is going to end up hitting me into this stuff... Uh, so the reason that I'm right here is because I see that there's a huge, huge pool of lava underneath me. And, yeah, like, way down there. And one of the things I saw is that it can... That can sometimes be a good way to find the fortress. Is by just looking for, like, a large, large pool of lava. Because uh, a lot of times they spawn over top of those. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I'm sort of guessing here. And also just trying not to die. But how do I get down? How the heck am I going to get down here? So I don't, obviously, I don't have feather falling or anything like that. I'm not... I'm not wealthy. Oh, man. Uh, this is probably not going to work. How the heck am I going to do this? Alright, but I've still got both golden apples on me. So that's good. Uh, ooh, wait. This Is this more promising? Can I get down? Ooh, this, yeah, this might be a bit easier to get down going this way. And I, I was digging through the wall for a couple of minutes there to at least get me going in the right general direction. And, man, I was digging at arm's length because the, the lava, pretty shortly into digging a tunnel, lava came pouring out of the wall, and, man, it moves fast in the nether. Lava spreads like wildfire basically it spread lava spreads like fire uh this is this is not good okay what if i what if i dig this way again i need to be careful i, I really need to be digging at arm's length or else this is gonna this is gonna end on a very sad note uh okay what about if i dig down here i'm just trying to find a spot that's easy to woo! it's easy to get down uh, please don't do that to me. Thank you. Let me see if I can block off this source real fast. There it is. Alright, yeah, so if I can... Ooh, okay, this, this is... This is close to probably where the actual wall is. So I should be able to dig a little bit farther. And then just dig down into the wall, I'm hoping. Let's see. Almost there. Okay, because once I get down here, since there's this, this huge pool of lava, I'm hoping that maybe... Maybe, just maybe, there's the possibility of a fortress spawning over this lava. But I know it's probably wishful thinking. 
Uh, yeah, because this is the pool that I was looking at, and it looks it looks massive. So let me let me check over this ridge, I guess, and see if there's anything. Uh, I guess not. Maybe this isn't maybe this isn't as big as I was thinking. Maybe this lava pool is not is somewhat minuscule. Well, no, it's pretty big, but I definitely don't see a fortress. Oh, and I'm I'm actually kind of in the negative x direction right now. So I might not be helping myself very much by doing that. So I, I need to get back into the positives. Oh, 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 I looked at an Enderman. I looked at an Enderman. Oh my gosh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. <sighs> this game, I hate the Nether so much. Like the Nether is literally like the worst thing about this game. And I'm not raging because that's just the truth. Okay, those are truthful, factual statements that I'm providing you with. And I gotta go look at my cords. I don't know where I was. Okay, this... I, I don't know anymore. Let me see if this same stupid thing happens with the gas this time. If they basically just hit me no matter what happens. Because if that's the case, then this is like the worst thing ever. And hang on, so I'm going to 69547. So this is where I... So basically, I just need to go... Uh, uh, basically this way, right? Okay, wait. Uh, if I... Yeah, okay, so if I basically just go straight this way, I'll get there. But the problem is, I don't know that I want to dig through the wall all that way. Uh, okay. So 60, 69, 5, 4, 7. I did bring, I brought a little bit of stuff couple of things probably not as much as I should have brought but I'm giving it a shot and I did have to use four more gold to make myself some some boots you've got to be kidding me yeah I had to make myself some boots just that way if I encountered ha or piglins I we wouldn't have any any arguments or disagreements uh, this uh, this is basically hell that's that's essentially what's going on here is uh, this just, I don't know, this really sucks. Okay, here, okay, so here's a little uh, piece of information for you that uh, I didn't think about until just now, is uh, my pick is about to break, so I'm not necessarily going to have the option to just, to just basically dig all the way there. That's the problem that uh, I'm probably going to begin encountering here is my pick's going to break. And I didn't even, I didn't bring wood or anything. I mean, I've dug pretty far. Like, look at that. I've dug pretty far. But this, okay, because I got to get to like 547. So I've still got like 200 blocks or no, like 300 blocks to go. And this pick is about to die. So I'm going to have to probably go and get some wood. Yeah, because I've got cobble. All right, well, let me see if I can find one of these, like, crimson or, or whatever forests real fast. I think I was sort of in one, so if I can get some wood real fast, then I can continue going. But I also don't want to lose this spot. So, we'll see what happens, I guess. I'm doing some dangerous things right now. Because, you know, what do I really have to lose, I guess, is kind of where I'm at. Uh, and the problem, though is that I don't know if I'm technically close enough to my stuff for it to despawn. So who knows? I may go through all this trouble, get there, and then it's literally all gone anyway. And when I really, really think about it, I guess I didn't have that much stuff on me that was crazy, crazy valuable. But it still feels like it was enough good stuff to where I don't, I don't want to lose it. It's not really something that I'm just going to be like, ah, you know, it's whatever. But I'm beginning to think that maybe it would have been smarter for me to actually, like, get fully geared up again before coming in here. And this ghast that's right beneath me is not... Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I tried to jump and I hit my forehead. Why do the ghasts, like, hit you no matter what? I don't understand that. Like, it seems to me that you should be able to just keep running and they won't hit you. Like, that That makes logical sense in my brain. I mean, because 
yeah, I know it's a fireball, but I can my feet can probably move faster than the fireball, I would think. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. I don't know. But I'm I'm in here. I'm getting a maybe a little closer to my initial death point. Oh, and this is this is this thing, and that's okay. Uh let me see if this takes me to where I need to go. And I didn't I didn't bring a ton of stuff, because really, I mean it's like I need enough stuff to survive, but I also don't want to use so much stuff that I just end up losing everything over and over again. So I feel like there's sort of some strategy to what you actually bring in. I'm also not wearing anything gold. So that could potentially be an issue. And you know, while I'm literally right here, something that I didn't bring again was wood. So I should probably just punch a little bit of wood just so that I have it. Just in case. Uh... I did bring a few sticks, though, so at least I have that. But I did not bring a crafting table, so that was dumb of me. So I'm glad that I came across this tree. Because I, I brought uh, a few extra sticks as well as a little bit of iron, just in case I need to make a new pick. But didn't even think about the fact that that's going to be useless if I don't have a crafting table. Uh, oh, okay, this is this is looking promising. I know I, know I came this way. I, it's looking very familiar. Uh, and I think, I think I died in there, because wait, let me look at my, what my cords were again. It was 69547. Apparently the little magma creams can hurt you. I didn't know that the little ones could hurt you. That seems like a load of ho hoop something, I don't know. It, se it seems like a load of something. Uh, alright, I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna do this. I think that I can maybe, can I get down to all this from here? Ooh, okay, here's a here's a thing that I built. So I'm definitely right in the vicinity of where I was. 547, 547, 547. But I do not have... Uh, crap, I do not have gold stuff on me, so I could end up just being totally, totally screwed. Which way did I go? Did I go this way? This seems to make most sense. Uh, 69547. And I don't even know if my stuff's gonna be there. I have a feeling that it's not gonna be. Because I feel like I've probably been in the area long enough for it to all disappear. But I'm sort of holding out hope. Oh man, that guy. A little too close for comfort. <gasps> my stuff is here. Holy crap. Look at this. All of the things. I have found them. This is. I don't take back anything I said though. All of all of my hatred towards the Nether is still totally valid, and uh, and it's it it is still still reflects how I feel. My goodness, though. All right, so now that I have this back on me, let me at least eat this. And I guess we're probably gonna have to find this this fortress tomorrow, because I need to get all this sorted out. And now I've got two sets of armor on me. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. So. Let me just get a glimpse real fast of if I can see anything from here. There's this whole thing up here, and I need to I need to really avoid looking at these Endermang because I don't want to deal with that again. See, this seems somewhat promising because I'm in the positive direction with both both my X and my Y. So because of that, I feel like oh, you know I should be using Netherrack for this kind of thing. That way, I'm not wasting my cobble. Uh, so I feel like the heck was that? Why do I have blue? Why do I have blue? What's that? Oh, never mind. It's my false alarm. It's just my absorption from my apple. But what the heck was that noise? It sounded like something put like a, a curse on me or something. Uh, okay. What about this huge lava pool? Is there anything hanging over top of this? Oh, look at how massive this gets. Okay, what about... What about here? I can't see anything. And my... Re I'm pretty sure my render settings are literally at max. Uh, and can I... Can I do this? Or am I... Is this unwise of me? This is probably unwise of me. But I feel like everything in the, in the nether is unwise. Oh, you know what? I should put... Crap. I need to put some gold stuff back on. Put those 
gold boots. What the heck is the noise? Is that... Did, did Enderman make that noise now? Because that is freaky. I can't... I can't see anything. Let me... It, or my, my render settings have got to be at max, right? If I look at my video... Uh... Is it all the way... Yeah. Render distance 28 chunks. And I can't see anything out there. So I guess this is this is gonna be the time to uh, to wrap for today. And I guess tomorrow I'll continue out along this and maybe over there and see if I find anything. So anyway, that's gonna wrap for today. So thanks so much for checking out today's episode. If you enjoyed it, I would highly appreciate it if you would leave a like, maybe a comment, and also hit subscribe. And uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll actually find find this thing tomorrow. Uh, if not, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. But anyway, thanks for checking out today's episode, and I will talk to you tomorrow.